Hey, what's up guys? I'm back here with another episode of best Android apps for this month and I will be demonstrating all these apps on the Galaxy Note 5. All these apps will run on any Android device but Note 5 being a new device a lot of new Android users will be there. So this video is to help them out. Make sure to check my other app videos which I will leave links in the description. And without any further ado, let's begin. The first one here is the IF. This is an automation app that connects different applications to perform certain tasks automatically in the given time and action. All these actions are called recipe in this application. Here you have the recommendations. You can begin adding recipes from here. Over here we have the recipes available online like recipes for music lovers that connects music apps and cloud folders or social apps. We have recipes for social apps, for system settings and so on. At the top we have different sections for recipes that is like tasks as well as option to search. You can also manually add your own recipe. First you have to give a condition from any app. Let's say I give a condition that if there is any new post on Facebook by me within my area then I want it to email the info to myself. So I can set it to do that. Similarly, there are tons of other options that you can set for other conditions according to your preferences. Like you can save Instagram pictures directly to your Dropbox and so on. Another example is if I get a missed call, I want a reminder on my Google Calendar. So there you have it. So a very useful application to automate the device to perform different tasks. Next is Focus. This is a great gallery application. Here we have all our images that are grouped according to folders and tags. To expand any folders or tags, you can tap here. You can tap and hold on any picture to group them by tags, share or select multiple pictures. Adding tags is like grouping your pictures based on its category so that it will be easier to find your pictures as we tend to have thousands of them in the gallery. You have these default tags like art, family, nature, etc. You can also add custom tags if you unlock the premium version. Over here you have camera shortcut and slider menu for tags and settings. So a very simple yet very useful gallery application. The next one here is the Snapseed. It's a great photo editing application with a very intuitive UI. Load a picture that you want to edit, click the edit icon and then you can access a page full of editing tools. We have all the basic as well as professional tools like Tune Image where you get all the contrast, brightness controls etc. Details, spot reduction, borders and many more. Then we have filters like the lens blur for that bokeh effect. HDR, Vintage, Black and White and so on. So you can go ahead and play with all these settings to find the best filter for your picture. Basically you can slide left or right to preview the effects and slide up and down for other settings. Another cool feature is that you can preview all the effects used on a picture. Say for example if I transform this image and make some changes then from here you can preview the effects so that you can differentiate the change. A great tool for professionals. The next one here is the link bubble. With great multitasking features on the Note 5, you will need apps that provides multitasking capabilities. Link bubble is one of them. This app will load the web pages on the background without having to exit the app that you are using. This feature comes in very handy while using social applications. Let's say I am using Twitter. I need to browse the link that is shared here. So I just tap on it and choose link bubble. This will load that link on the background without switching between the applications. I can continue using Twitter and when I want to visit that web page, 
I simply tap on this floating icon here. You can also load multiple pages on the background which requires the pro version. With this floating icon, you get options to share the link or dismiss it. Back to the app, you have history and settings to set this app as a default browser. Choose default apps, choose bubble shortcuts and browser options like clear browsing data, incognito mode and so on. You can upgrade to the pro version to get the full features of this application like customization options, loading multiple web pages and so on. So a great browser app for multitasking. The next one here is the Twilight. With the gorgeous 5.7 inch display on the Note 5, you will surely be spending more on screen time with your device. Like watching videos, reading ebooks and all. Watching the display for too long is harmful to your eyes. Scientifically, mobiles and laptops emit light that reduces sleep. So with this app you can control the display of your device so that you can spend more on screen time with it. This app filters the flux of blue light emitted by your phone or tablet and protects your eyes with a soft and pleasant red filter. As you can see, we have a preview option that will preview the suitable settings according to the current time. We have got settings for color temperature, intensity and screen dimming that lets you adjust the display manually and according to your preference. We also have filter times like you can set it to always, sunrise and sunset, alarm or set the time manually. You can also change the location from here and you have more settings to turn on different features like backlight control, smart light, notification settings and other settings like start on boot, apply to full screen, GPU rendering and so on. Going back, you have options to pause the app and add different profiles. You get a slider menu for tutorials, pause and stop the service and also you have got different profiles. So guys a great app especially if you use your phones at night so this is very useful for that situation. The next one here is called Today Settings. This is a widget app that provides two awesome calendar widgets. Launching the app will bring these settings for both widgets like theme, opacity, event settings, display type, background transparency and so on. Once all the settings are done, go to the widget selector and choose from the agenda or month. Agenda will bring up all the events from your calendar and calendar will bring up the months view. Both the widget looks minimal and stylish. You can scroll through your events and calendar right from the widget itself. You also can resize it and always change the settings from the app. So a very stylish, minimal and a functional widget. The last but not the least is the hyperlapse. This app will let you convert any video from your gallery or from your camera to hyperlapse or let's say the time lapse mode. Here you have the option to import a video from your gallery or record a new video. So let's select a video from our gallery and you can drag the slider to trim the video. Once you are done hit OK and it will convert that video into time lapse. From here you can adjust the speed of the time lapse and hit OK to save it. Once saved you get these options to replay, share the time lapse, select new speed of your time lapse or start over. So a great app for making time lapse videos. So that's all for this video guys. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more. I will soon be coming up with another video especially with a set of apps very well suited for the Note 5 and the Edge screen. So stay tuned for that and you guys have a great day.